guys. Hello. To another video. We're here. To talk about money. Lots and lots of money. The most money we've probably ever spent except for our house. Yeah. Like we could have bought a car. Could have. But we didn't. So, we're talking about money because people want to know how much IVF cost. We are in North Carolina. We did have insurance coverage. Yep. So we just want to start with that. You want to give them the grand total of how much so IVF cost us? The grand total for IVF was $10,000 and that's broken down into a bunch of different things like medicines and operations and... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> My throat got super itchy. Yeah, so that's $10,000 without meeting our $2,000 deductible. So when you add in our deductible, we had to pay for our fertility appointments before before the insurance coverage kicked in, you're looking at twelve thousand dollars. Yep. Um So what was the, the biggest cost? <clears throat> drugs. Yeah. Um so our insurance covered fifty percent of procedures, doctors' appointments, and lab work, but they didn't cover I think they only covered twenty percent of our drug cost. So that made our drugs the most expensive, which you have to order several times, and our drugs were four thousand dollars. So out of the ten thousand in IVF cost, that's a pretty big chunk. Yep. And I think the drug we got was from or the drugs were from Mandel's yeah, pharmacy. Mandel's pharmacy. There, I remember there's a decision we had to make between that one or another one. Yeah, there's quite a few out there. We chose that one, but yeah. I know that there are a lot of different ways you can like can you buy like second hand leftover stuff? Yeah, if you have like an IVF community Facebook group that you're a part of, which we were, people are really kind and sell their drugs if you want them second hand and you trust whoever you're buying them from. But we wanted it ASAP and we wanted to know it came from a good place. So, and our yeah. doctor didn't really like the idea of us going astray from the two pharmacies they recommended. They were very pushy on that. <clears throat> By the way, if you're just checking out this video because it's about money, we have a lot of other cool videos about, you know, our feelings and stuff, and you should <laughs> check all those out. And uh, subscribe, because yeah. we talk a lot about IVF, and this is just this is just straight facts, so. Yeah, we're not going to go into details of procedures and how it felt. Yeah. So, only. so, aside from the meds, you have lab work, which there's a lot of lab work, because you go in a lot. That's including my lab work, and that's including his as well. Because guys have to get lab work done. Um, doctor's appointments are charged separately from your lab work. So if you're just going in for lab work that day, they're still going to charge you for a doctor's appointment. Um, <clears throat> you have a couple surgeries during IVF, depending on how successful or unsuccessful each cycle is. And then what else? Oh, storage fees and yeah. freezing. Mm -hmm. If you have to do a frozen transfer, you get multiple embryos, they're going to freeze those. So you have to pay for that and you have to pay for the embryo to be thawed out for your transfer. So all those are prices <clears throat> that are included in that $10,000. So as far as coverage, do you want to talk about that? Like coverage? how we paid for it, like oh, how yeah. insurance helped. Oh, what do you mean? Like a lot of people, unfortunately, don't get any help from insurance. Cool fact. New York was just one of the first states to include IVF as a mandatory coverage in health insurance. Hmm. So we're making progress. But we, um, fortunately, Nick works for a hospital, so we did get some IVF coverage. It is a lifetime maximum of $15,000 at 50%. And what that means is any cost we receive, they would pay 50% of that bill for us up to $15,000 once we met our $2,000 deductible. Yep. And then you can talk about how we paid because you're so, like the money guy. I think is yeah, we paid ten thousand dollars and that was out of our own pocket. So I think that we had saved a decent amount uh, before this, and, I, and we didn't want to spend it on IVF, but we knew that what we try to do is spend most of our money on the things that we care most about. And obviously, we want to be parents really bad, which we might be <coughs> changing our minds about that. In a, couple months but we'll see Thinking, what did we do but yeah we wanted to spend all our money and put all of our uh, funds into having kids so we used I think a lot of savings and then we got which I hate credit cards because they just stress me out but uh, we got a credit card that had 0% APR for a year because we're gonna be honest with you guys we used a credit card yeah 
but we knew we could pay it off within three months. Ideally, if you were, you know, reading about this in a book on how you should do it, it's probably not like that, but you know, we wanted to expedite this process and get it going and stop just waiting around for everything to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And we know not everyone's fortunate enough to have the savings that we were able to use. Yeah. Um, so we are still building our savings back up from this experience that started last May. Yeah. I think it would it basically work out where we get like a bill for like three grand every once in a while or like nine hundred dollars. I think those are two common amounts for us. Mm -hmm. And we just throw everything we could at it initially and then uh if we had extra money we would just pay it and then not go on vacation and not do the things that we could normally do. Yeah. But that's okay. Because it's worth it. Yeah. We paid so for we our savings, savings and then a credit card. Yeah, and I mean, there were obviously some paychecks that we used to throw at it when it was like a $300 or $400 or $500 thing that we knew it wouldn't stress us out. Yeah. But um, it's doable. I know of people who have had to max out plenty of credit cards for IVF because it wasn't successful for them the first couple go-rounds, and they have already paid off that debt. So when it's something you want, you can do it. Yeah, you make it work. Exactly. There's always options out there. Um, so yeah, ten thousand dollars plus the two thousand dollar deductible is twelve thousand, and that is in North Carolina, like we said. So that pretty much, if you count what insurance paid, it's going to be about twenty thousand dollars. Which I've heard that's pretty much the same for most people in all states. Yep. And if you have any questions or comments, we uh, look through the comments a lot. Uh, and if you want to know anything about money, we're pretty open. And or if you have tips to share with other people who might watch this video on your experience, put it in the comments. Yeah, we just want to bring you the most uh, informative content about IVF for people that are not, or I guess a little younger and trying to figure it out. And also if you're older, that's cool too. Yeah. But. but we hope this helps answer any questions about how much IVF costs. If you're trying to plan or you're just honestly curious and nosy about how much we spent that's cool too um like this video if you thought it was helpful and subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys on our next video bye